Hi everyone, welcome along to another video. John here. Today I thought we'd have a look at Peaceful Easy Feeling by the Eagles. Brilliant band, the Eagles really like them. And this solo is great, really, really good. Um, so let me take you through it. I'll play through the first bit and uh, then I'll, I'll break it down. So here is the first lick. All right, so this first one is kind of like a little pickup. It's on the E chord. And you're starting here on nine on the high E to seven. And then there's a quick bend here uh, from seven, up a whole step to nine and release back down. All right, so that's quite a quick bend. So you've got this. And then you're going nine on the G, seven on the B, back to nine again. So, And then you're gonna slide from eight to six on the G string, all right? I'll do that slowly. So far we've got this. And at the end there, and if you can see this with my, my fingers here, I'm going the E string, the B string, the E string, the B string, the E string, the B string. So let me play this slowly for you. This is a bit tricky, this lick, because this one you really want to do with two fingers. a bit tricky rolling your finger there but give that a go do it one more time all right now we're kind of into the main bit of the solo I'll play this first section then I'll break it down So this bit, we're starting here on the low E string, and we're going six, seven, four, six, seven. And then four on the D, back to seven on the A. So, so far we've got this. All right, let me do that one more time. Now we're gonna do this. Nice phrase this. So we're sliding here into six on the D, then we're gonna play four on the G to five on the B here. This is an E chord. Once you've done that, so you're kind of making the chord as you go along, you're gonna slide up, keep this third finger where it is, slide up to the seventh fret on the D and play that five on the E. All right, so far we've done this. Now we're gonna slide from five into six on G to five on the B, all right? So let me play that little slidey bit. All right, so let me go from the beginning of that section. Now we're gonna do this. Once you've made this shape here, six and five on the B, you're gonna slide that up a whole tone, all right? So you're finally finishing on seven here on the B and uh, eight on the G, all right? And then you're gonna slide from kind of that eighth fret to nine on the G, back to seven on the B, back to nine again. All right, so that might be a bit confusing. The phrasing is a bit quirky here. So let me go back to the beginning, play that through. All right, now we've got this. 
So now we're bending the seventh fret on the B. Now we're going to catch the nine on the high E with our little finger, if you can. And then keep that one bent up, all right, this, this uh, seven on the B. Then we're going to hit seven on the high E. So you've got this so far. Now finally re-pick that seven on the B and let it down. Now we're going to slide into that nine on the G again. Nine, seven on the B. Right, so twice. So let me play that whole section through, see if it makes sense. Right, now we have this. Okay, so now this one is a, a double stop. You can kind of hear this uh, on, on the record. Um, so, uh, so what we're doing here is put your little finger on seven on the high E, and then your third finger with all these one and two to support it on the B string. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that seventh on the high E stationary, and we're going to bend up this seven on the B to this note here, which is a G sharp. We're playing an E chord. So we're going to bend it up. And by the way, I'm using here, if you can see my um, fingers here, my third finger, and I'm using the pick. All right, so we've got that. So bend it up. Give it a little pick on the top and then pick it again and release. And when you release, you're coming down to the seven on the high E and the five on the B. And then we're going to move down a whole step, kind of do the same thing, but without that third fret. So we're bending that, that five here on the high E, five on the B. Hit it again. And again, and let down. At the end, we're back to the seventh fret again. Then, so you're going to bend it up, hit that seven on the high E, and then, then we're going to do that little bend. So. So three times on the last time, it's a quick let down. So up, 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 and down. All right. That's a lot to get through, isn't it? A lot to kind of understand this phrasing. If you're not used to kind of country uh, bends, it's difficult to get to them. And uh, they're, they're a bit tricky. So let me go back maybe from the beginning and play everything that we've got so far. So that's where we're, we're up to so far. Uh, now we have a very similar phrase. All right, now uh, this little phrase here, we're doing the same thing, that same bend, so seven on the high E and that seven on the B. So we're doing that, that bend. Now we're going to grab an A chord, which is five on the B, five on the high E, and that six here on the G. And you're going to pick that with your, with your pick here on the G string, and the other two fingers are grabbing the B and E, all right? So we've got this. Now 
then you're going to hit that chord twice and then on the third time you're going to add your little finger to the seventh fret on the B. So let me do that slowly. All right, and again. And again. And the fourth time. And then we're going to play a B chord because the chord that he's strumming in the background is a B. So this is the same as the A, just slide up to seven on the B, seven on the E, and eight here on G. All right, and then we have this. So this is a slide to nine on the D, all right? Seven on the B, eight to nine on the G, to seven here on the high E. And then we're going to go 12, twice on the 12, 11 on the high E, back to 12. Okay, so um, okay. So I hope you're still with me so far. Uh, now, now we're into this. So this is a cool one in A. So now we've moved up to the 17th fret, 17 on the B. And now you're putting your third finger and make sure you've got these ones to, to support this bend you're gonna do. And you're bending this note, the 16th fret to the 18th fret. And again, you're using your pick on the G and with the third finger on the B. So you bend it up and again, third time. Bend it up and let down, pull off the 14. That might be a bit a little difficult at first. Last note is 16 on the uh, D here to 14 on the G. All right, now we have this. Now this is a bit of a tricky phrase. So we are bending up here 11 on the G, then catch with your little finger 12 on the high E. Re-pick that 12. By the way, I'm doing this with my pick and finger, so bend that up with the pick. 12 frets with your third finger. Pick again. Now whilst you've, while you've still got that note bent up, you're hitting with your first finger, nine on the high E. Now, with it still bent up, now you're gonna hit 12 on the B. Now, hit that G again and release it. All right, now we're gonna do this. So we're sliding back from nine on the G to eight. All right, to nine again, 11 on the G, nine, 10, 12 on the B. So let me try and do that slowly. All right, so let me just go back a bit and play from that session. Okay, now here's some cool bends. This is nice. So this is over an A chord. So now we've got nine on the high E and 12 uh, on the B and you're gonna bend that 12. So you bend the 12 first, but keep that finger kind of ready to go with that first finger. So you do that twice. So bend up that B to 14, hit that nine twice, release it and bend up again. 
hopefully you get that kind of sound of both strings. And then with your little finger hit that 12th on the high E while it's still bent, that 12th fret. So that bend up twice, finish on 10 here which is the A note on the um, 10 on the B. Then we're going to do the same thing, but now it's 14 on the B, 11 on the high E. Alright, then we have this. It's a cool lick. So, so we're bending up here 16 on the high E. Then come back to 14 on the high E. Then we do this. So we're bending this 12, uh, sorry, you're not bending it, it's 12 on the high E, you're bending this 15 on the B, uh, and you're trying to get that kind of unison sound again. And then the last time, you'll come back to 12 here on the B. Then you're going to do kind of the same thing. So you've got that 12 on the B and then you're bending 14 on the G. And then and then you let that 14 down, pull off to 12 and then 14 on the D there. All right so It's a lick, went a bit wrong there, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but uh, you, you can listen to that first bit, of the, the, the beginning to get the phrasing. Have a listen to the real song too. All right, so there we are. That is the whole solo. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put the chords to this in a part two, just in case you want to jam it with a friend, you know, uh, which will be really good. So let me try and go back to the beginning and play it all the way through, not kind of in any kind of time, but just roughly so you can hear all, all the parts. So here we go. Right, there we go, that is it, played all the way through. Have some fun with that. These country things are quite tricky, you know, if you're not used to, as I say, those bends and bending out, it, it takes some time to get them, to get the finger strength. And it's very uh, easy to, to, you know, make them go under or over the bend, you know, and it sound, sounds re really weird. But anyway, thanks so much for watching that. Great solo by the Eagles. Do check out my other videos. There's hundreds on my YouTube channel. I do a daily blues lick and loads of other stuff, all classic solos. So you, so you can have a look. It should keep you busy for an hour or so, you know, on a wet day. And also do remember to check out my um, blues guitar lessons page on, on Facebook if you like blues stuff. So have a look at that. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you. Do send me your videos of you playing this or any questions you've got. But uh, if not, I'll see you in the next video. All the best. <laughs>